Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to go through question number seven from the International A-Level Edexcel, Pure Mathematics P2, October 2019. Um, this question is about logarithms, uh, most of it. And they said they told us, given that the log to the base A of B is equal to K, find in simplest form in terms of K, what log to the base A, brackets, root A over B, is equal to so we've got to express this in simplest terms in terms of k right now this question involves the laws of logarithms now there are three basic laws of logarithms and if you know those laws you cannot go wrong okay so the first law of logarithm is the law of addition um, where you have log to the base of something i'll just call them different letters i'll call them p q and r log to the base of p so this is a bit of a mess here, isn't it? Log to the base P of Q times R. That can be split up as log to the base P of Q plus log to the base P of R. Okay, so they're both at the same base, the same original base, but you can split this multiplication up as an addition. And it's something related to uh, the laws of indices. If you remember the laws of indices, A to the power of M, um, times n is the same as a to the power of m plus a to the power of n. It's kind of related to that because indices and logarithms are, are inverses of each other. And the second law is the log law of division. So log to the base p of q divided by r is going to be log to the base q of, sorry, log to the base p, log to the base p of q minus log to the base p of r and the third law that we're going to be using is it's called the power law so for example log to the base p of q to the power of r this is a power now that can be expressed as r times log to the base p q okay these are the three main laws of logarithms which we're going to be applying in basically any logarithm question that you'll find you'll find that you have to apply uh, one or more of these laws okay so for example here what we can see is this can be applied the second law here can be applied quite easily we have to just split it up into a uh, subtraction so log to the base a of root a minus log to the base a b now straight away we can see that this is the same as k so we can replace this with k so we're kind of like you know on the way to what we're supposed to do but then we got this to deal with all right now I'm going to express this in index form because then I may be able to apply this, this law because um, the root of a is the same as a to the power of a half. So this is going to be now, let me write it down here, log to the base a of a to the power of a half minus, I'm going to replace this, replace this with k now because I know that k is equal to log to the base a b, so I can just replace it with k. And I also know from the power law that I'm going to do a half times a half times log to the base a of a minus k. Now, log to the base a of a is equal to one. If you if you raise, because remember what this means, what this means when you have log to base a uh, um, of b equals c, what it means is a to the power of c equals b. This is the this is the um, the base. This is the power. This is the result. You could say. So a to the power of something equals a, well, it must be a 1. So the, a, a log, the log to the base of anything of itself will always be 1. So this is going to be a half minus k. Okay, so this here, on the side here, is not the actual working for the question. It's just some of the reasoning behind what I've done here. But this is the actual working for the question, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to write any of that. I'm just trying to explain as I go along. So that's the answer, 2, 7, part 1. All right, a pretty simple question, actually. And part 2 now. Okay, similar type of thing here. We have to just simplify this. So let's start off by splitting this into a product. Uh, an, uh, you know, the product becomes an addition. So you've got log to the base a of a squared plus log to the base a b divided by, and this is going to be using the power law, 3 log to the base a b. So straight away we've got a log to the base a b. That's going to be a k. That's going to be 3 times k. And we can use a power law here. So let's just use the power law first. So 2 times log to the base a, a 
plus k over 3 times k. And we know that log to the base a, a is 1. So you've got 2 plus k divided by 3k. And there we have our answer. Okay, there's the answer. 2 plus k over 3k. Very simple. Applying the laws of logarithms to this question. Now part 3 says given log to the base a, b equals k. Same thing. All uh, right, so it's the same thing. But here we have this. Find its simplest form in terms of k. This is a sigma notation. This is to do with series. This is telling us to find the sum of this whole expression in here. When you replace n with 1, and then replace n with 2, and then with 3, add them all those terms together until you get to the 50th term. So before we start, I'm going to take this k plus log to the base a, b, n, and I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to simplify this first, and then I'm going to put it back in there. Now this is the same as k plus n times log to the base a, b. And that's going to be k plus nk. All right, so that's going to be that. You can think of that as k times 1 plus n if you want. All right, either of those will do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the sigma notation. And in place, in place of the log a to the base n, I'm going to write, uh, in place of all of this, I'm going to write this. Okay, I'll write k times 1 plus n. All right, so I've got to find the sum of all of that. Um, when I put n equals 1 up to when I put n equals 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the first few terms to see what type of series that it generates. So when I put n equals 1, I'm going to have k times 2. Plus, when I put n equals 2, I'm going to have um, 3 times k, 3k. When I have n equals 3, I'm going to have 4k. Okay, it looks like it's quite, quite, you know, very um, clearly n an arithmetic progression where you have to add 1k each time. So let's just think about the last term. The last term is going to put n equals 1, n equals 50 into there. You're going to have 51k. Okay, so here we have the series written out. We have to add all of these together. Okay, now instead of going through the whole process of adding each of these numbers together, what we could do, we could make life a bit simpler for ourselves. And we could actually just use the fact that this is an arithmetic series. So we know that the first term is 2k, and we know that the, the, uh, the common difference is 1k. We know that the number of terms is 50, and we also know something else. The last term is 51k. If you know the last term in an arithmetic um, series, it really helps you sometimes, because there's two formulae we could use. One of them, these, this formula is in your formula book, by the way. n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. That's in your formula book. That's for the sum of n terms in an arithmetic series. We could use that, but I will prefer to use this formula, which is basically based on that formula, which is a plus l. n over 2 times a plus l, and that's basically based on this formula because this is a plus a plus n minus 1 times d, and a plus n minus 1 times d is the nth term or the last term. So now we've got n over 2, so we've got 50 over 2. I'll do it down here. 50 divided by 2, which is 25, and you've got 2k plus 51k, so you're going to have 25 times 53k, and that will give you your answer. 25 times 53, that gives you 1,325, so it's 1,325k. And there we have the answer to part three. And that's question number seven finished. It wasn't too difficult. Um, you just have to understand what the sigma notation is, and you're fine. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you would like to see other questions on this paper, you can click on the playlist that should appear somewhere in this area. And in this area should be the playlist for the other questions about um, logarithms, and probably I'll also put it well, I'll just use it in logarithms. And then there's going to be this area over here, which you're going to be able to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already and you wish to do so. Thank you for watching.